Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about why certain companies even after booking losses year after year trades at higher valuation or trades at certain valuation how come a company which is booking losses could have any kind of valuation for example uh, recently the ipo of burger king the burger king as a company was booking losses since past 2 3 years even after that the ipo received good response and uh, the valuation of the company is still in the bracket of 3 to 4000 crores when the company is not even earning a single rupee as a net profit in the same manner the companies particularly in the startup segment like swiggy zomato policy bazaar uber ola and uh, many edutech companies even though they these companies are not profit making still these companies are valued in the billions of dollar now uh, why is it so the reason is that the stock valuations are done on the future cash flow basis when we are valuing any company or any shares or any stock we take into consideration what this company might earn in future presently the company the business model may be loss making they may not be able to book profit for certain number of years but once the cycle is turn once the break even point is reach after that the company starts booking profit year after year in a very rapid manner there are many examples of this particularly in a startup uh, segment what we call venture capital the companies like amazon netflix <coughs> for that sake apple once upon a time these companies were loss making companies but today these companies are valued in billions of dollar not only that but the companies are earning handsome profits year after year at a very rapid pace the point which i would like to highlight is that whenever you are looking at any company don't give much weightage to the past numbers which we always uh do we always crunch the past numbers the key is to judge predict the future cash flows of a company or of a certain business model if you are able to tackle this uh, a gray area then you can uh on a good amount of money but the tricky part is that future is always uncertain which business model which segment will do well and which may fail or which may not do well in future that remains uncertain so that is why these companies are even after loss making companies they earn a <coughs> higher valuation and not only that higher valuation the investors pay uh pay for this valuation they pay at this higher valuation to uh gain uh, stock options in these companies the point again i would like to highlight is that for example uber a company like uber taxi aggregator app when it started it was not making profit for a number of years it uh, not only book the profit but it it was uh, a model that uh, was uh, very questionable whether such kind of business model will earn a profit in future that too in a sustainable way that was really questionable but over the years uh, the things turn in a very different way and today uber is valued in the bracket of 80 to 100 billion dollars 
and Uber is now a public limited company. The same is with the Swiggy, Zomato, and number of EduTech companies, <coughs> and number of startup companies as well. The point we all must keep in mind is that do not go by the present valuation, present values, present profit, present sales. Look at the futuristic potential in that particular segment, in that particular service segment, product segment, whether the company, whether the company's management is competent to drive the company successfully in future. That remains one of the key parameters when we are valuing such loss-making companies. These are not, you can't term it as a loss-making companies. Basically, these are the companies which are emerging companies. Okay, instead of calling it a loss-making company, we must call it a emerging companies. They are new. They are trying new innovations, new products, new services, new business models. And that's why it takes certain time uh, to stabilize these business models. And then these companies start making profit and one, once the cycle is turned positive, then you can now see the Amazon, Apple. Not to give many examples, but Amazon, Netflix, once upon a time were loss-making companies and nobody believed that such business model could be successful in long term. I hope this video was useful and uh, I was able to solve some of your uh, doubts. Uh, Thank you for listening to this video. If you have anything uh, specific you want me to discuss here, please mention that in the comment box. Thank you.